Hello, I am Ivana Mari Mora from Lulac, Cincinnati, and I am a volunteer. I'm Roman Rodriguez, I'm from Chicago, and I'm National Youth President for Lulac. Well, Roman, other than being the president of the youth councils in Lulac, uh, what do you do in high school? What are your interests in? Yeah, what do you like to do? <laughs> Well, in high school, um, other than you know, doing a lot of homework, I like to um, be involved in my sports. Like I do play tennis, and I like class council and student council, and those are all the things really I like to do in high school. <laughs> just class. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. As uh, the national youth president, uh -huh. what are your roles? Like, what do you do every day, day to day? Oh, as National Youth President, it's my job to make sure the adults know on the national level what the youth is doing and what we want to do and things that we want to change for ourselves. And so day to day, I answer emails from everybody. I try to organize a national pre-convention with my National Youth Board. Uh, I try to organize a lot of other things people ask me to help yeah, them exactly. for, and yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of work, but I think it's worth it. Um, how are you involved with the councils in each area, in each city? Oh, uh, the way I kind of try to stay involved with um, local councils or councils across the nation is uh, through the national VPs. Uh, their communication with them com comes to me, and I can communicate with them. So they can communicate with everybody so else because there's so many that going each to every one of them like hand to like face to face they would be too much so that's the way I kind of um, deal with all the councils. Mm -hmm. And does uh, do the councils have like focuses or like what uh, things would they um, spend most of their time on like what do they, what would they do? Yeah, when making a LULAC council, you have a few options in what LULAC um, thinks you should focus on. And you can also make your own um, kind of options. And those, these are just like suggestions. And some um, things that councils on the youth level focus on is education, health, immigration, uh, the status, the state status of Puerto Rico, and human rights, LGBT rights. And so a lot of councils vary in what they like to focus on. And the good thing about a council is that you can focus on whatever you want to in your community that's affecting you the most. Um, all right. Uh, what activities do the councils in each city, like what are some examples of things that they do? Uh, they can advocate, advocate for uh, rights that they want passed or just laws that they want passed. They can advocate for that. Uh, a lot of youth is a self-developing type part of LULAC. So while you're in the youth part, you do a lot of fundraising because every year there's a national pre-convention. And so that's a part of what they do is fundraising. And it's a big bonding experience for everybody and to change um, things in their communities and to help raise up money for um, them developing themselves. Um, if someone was interested in making a council in a city or region that doesn't have a council, what could they do to get the process started? Mm -hmm. The first thing they need to do is contact an adult who is in LULAC that's willing to help them. Once they contact an adult, they would try to make a council by going online and downloading a LULAC Youth Council Guide. And the council guide will give you instructions of how to make a council. So they, um, you need a minimum of 10 friends. So you can go to your school and see which friends would want to join. You could go to your counselor and ask if they could help you find kids that would like to be in LULAC. And once you have 10 people um, that would like to be involved, you all sign up together and pay your dues and send them to national, and then you're officially in a uh, LULAC Youth Council. Um, and how do you reach out to youth in the community about like the LULAC councils? Like, do you have a social networking page or any other form of communication to reach out to them? Yeah, we have our national youth website, which is um, lulacyouth.net. And we have our Instagram and Twitter account, which is at LULAC Youth for both of them. And there, we're really putting up, um, on our Instagram, we're putting up 
pictures of what other councils are doing or what the um, National Youth Board is doing at the moment so everybody could see um, everything that we're doing because um, we're not just talking about the changes, we're actually going out there and talking to congressmen and advocating for ourselves and going to conventions and really making the changes ourselves. In our Twitter account, we you know tweet constantly um, about the changes we believe that should be met, and you know we that's the way we try to communicate with everybody else through social media like that. Speaking of conventions, I believe there's one this year. Mm -hmm. uh, could you talk to uh, the community or anybody about this? Like, can you explain it? Yeah, the National Youth Convention is something that happens before the national convention every um, year. And this year we will be hosting it in New York and we are very excited to have our National Youth Convention at Princeton University. And yes, very and so our um our national pre convention is really a time that we get to sightsee a little and we get to also see um be inside a college type feel and a college type field in Princeton University mm -hmm. is really good. <laughs> and so we're very happy to have it there and we're very happy to um, be in New York and yeah. <laughs> and do you have a message for the community or youth that are interested or just like a general message about uh, the LULAC's work and like uh -huh. what you do? Oh, uh, well, LULAC Youth, we really want to help people notice that their voices um, are only big when they speak it. And so when you're a LULAC Youth member, sometimes you don't understand that. And so what my message is trying to get out to them is when making a youth council, you realize that you can make a change. And once you make the change on a youth council, you can make the change on the national level. And it really is a giant ripple effect of what you can do in the long run. And it's really amazing. And so my message is is that keep trying, keep working, do your best, and you can make the change. It's very important to reach out to Lulac Youth <laughs> in our communities, and you can contact them through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter. and you can email them, right? And do you have like a phone number where they can contact you? Yeah, um, on our national youth website, lulacyouth.net, there is. Um, on there, there's a link that will um, take you to all the national VPs in the regions that they take care of and the states that they focus on. And there's my email on there and all their emails on there as well. Mm -hmm. And so if you ever wanted to contact somebody to make a council or to even know more about LULAC, you could email us mm -hmm. and um, call us or text us. <laughs> We're very phone savvy. <laughs> and um, then you could, we can tell you more information about it and give you more information and it's really, um, we're more than willing to do it and we're really happy when people want to know more. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank for you. <laughs> it was a pleasure to meet you. It was a pleasure to meet you yes, too. <laughs>